Earlier this year, we decided it was time for us to get back into the pants category. No hair, makeup, nothing. <laughs> took a pause this time and really asked ourselves, is there a, a better way to do it? Obviously, we've been doing shirts a certain way and some of other categories like chinos and jeans. But when we, when we decided to get into pants, which in, in and of itself is a very hard category, we asked ourselves, look, it has to be a smarter way of doing it. Um, so we spent a few months researching everything from how the pants could be constructed in a way that uh, we could deliver it faster to the customer, where um, producing at scale is no longer a constraint, where alterations uh, are kept to a minimum. Um, and we ran a quick pilot in early February, and the results were super encouraging. Uh, the pants were obviously more economical in terms of production, which means that the final price to the customer uh, was a lot more affordable, uh, but you were still getting the benefits of customization. So when we rolled that out, uh, the first month of operation was March. Uh, the numbers around uh, returns, alterations, NPS scores of customers who bought the pants were super high. And it's been a few months since then now, and those numbers have only gotten better and better. So again, it begged the question, we're also doing jeans and we're doing chinos. Can we do them in the same way as we're doing the dress pants? Um, the downside of this is obviously we have a lot of customers who've been buying jeans and chinos from us over the years and their journey would now be interrupted if we, if we went into a new way of doing things uh, but I think the benefits definitely outweigh the cons so similarly you'll get your jeans and chinos at a more affordable price point uh, and still maintaining that perfect fit so now we're going to take you through the last few months where um, we piloted the project uh, of course, it involved multiple uh, functional departments with design, merchandising, technology, production, customer experience, training at the store level, and we'll show you what it takes to bring a project of this magnitude to life. We spoke to about almost a thousand customers, and most of the feedback that we got from our customers was they don't care so much about the design customizations that we were offering in a lot of our chinos and denims and pants. What they cared about was the fit. So there's been a lot of work obviously that has been done over the last three to six months literally on changing this entire process. Um, it's from fabric selections to the whole fit profile, getting the tech ready, getting to understand what our standard fit should be for a customer to try on and then from there fine tune it to exactly the customer's shape and size. There has been a lot of effort been made by our supply chain teams, by our tech teams, by design team. It's, it's, it's been a long drawn out process and I know you can't see the sweat on my forehead right now but it has been that for the last six months. We've been working um, on bottoms as a category at Bombay Shirt Company for a couple of years now and um, to be honest we've launched it in such a way where it's been category wise and piecemeal. So we've started with jeans first, then we moved to chinos, then we moved to dress pants and so every time we've launched a category it's been in isolation and we haven't been able to do it in a cohesive manner. Because we launched at different times, we had different uh, delivery schedules, we had different sizing and we decided it was just not working for us and decided to start from point zero. We spent the last few months researching different fabrics from across the world, um, our sales trends, our customer feedback and um, put together a whole panel of experts from pattern makers to fabric technologists to come up with this new wide range of BSC bottoms. We started from fabric. We looked at and analyzed each and every fabric, used data to actually analyze and see whether it makes sense from a customer point of view, from a production point of view, from a test of time point of view you know, nixed the ones that didn't make sense and used only what we thought would be the best options for our customer going forward. Um, once we shortlisted all the fabrics, we moved on to fit. 
uh, something that we strive to perfect on a daily basis here at Bombay Shirt Company. Um, we started calling in experts. We of course know shirts uh, like no other but we started calling on experts from different backgrounds, pattern makers, uh, technologists etc to help us perfect the fit. Once we did all this research, we decided to start our sampling process and we began testing it out with our office. We um, roped in all the men that work here and uh, used their bodies and their uh, brains to, to tell us and give us feedback on the initial round of samples that we uh, made. After we implemented some of the, the changes we thought relevant and necessary after the office uh, pilot run, we moved on to our stores. We reached out to different stores, our customers in different stores and conducted extensive pilot runs within each of these stores. It's been about three to four months of trial and testing and we're finally confident that we have a product that will work for our customer and at a much quicker turnaround than what they're used to. So there are a couple of other problems, technical problems that we had identified um, from our first launch of um, pants. One thing was shrinkage in denim and quite a few of our customers complained about this and now we've addressed this problem by pre-shrinking all our fabric. We've sourced fabric from all over the world. We've got Japanese denim, we've got Indian denim, we've got fabrics from other parts of Asia as well. We've got more rigid chino options which we didn't have before. We've got different colors that we didn't have before. So a lot more options and a lot more to come as we grow and develop in this space. Um, the other really exciting product that we're launching is Corduroy Pants. It's something that you know is quite special and niche and isn't available everywhere. So you get your own made-to-measure Corduroy Pants, linen pants, chinos, denim, and it's just about beginning. Ironically, the hardest part of this project actually is building the technology that supports it. Uh, for us, technology involves multiple things. There's our ERP system on the back end, which supports all of the procurement of fabrics, raw materials, production at the factory level, and bringing that all together. That's very complicated, as you can imagine, when you're doing custom-made at scale. It means saving customer measurements, profiles for the future, taking into account alterations that they might have and saving those measurements going forward. There's a lot of work on the back end. On the front end, we, we have a website, we also have an app, and we need to make sure that both of them are seamless. Um, so there's a lot of front end design work as well as coding work that goes into launching a project like this. And lastly, what makes it even more complicated is the fact that we've already had chinos and jeans in our portfolio, but now we're moving to a, a different way of taking measurements. Uh, so undoing tens of thousands of customer measurements and then redoing it in a new way uh, obviously comes with its own challenges. So I think the longest lead item in getting this project off the ground is actually building the technology that supports everything. So bottom way 2.0 at BSC has been a massive change and when I say massive it means that we have to actually overhaul every single consumer touch point to make sure that people know of all the changes that we've um, implemented. So as soon as tech goes live, we are gonna have to change every single product image we have, all the descriptions, uh, make sure we're communicating about the different fabric, the different fit, the construction of the garment. And so we're doing this on our website, on our stores. Um, we also have to make sure that we amplify it, right? So we've got these, our own channels, things like social, of course, um, newsletters, ads, stuff like that. We want to make sure we're communicating all the different changes so customers, A, aren't confused, and B, you know, love the new garments. And um, eventually, you know, we're going to use 
different channels such as events and influencers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's. I mean, honestly, marketing hasn't been as involved in the work up till now. But here's when our work really begins to make sure um, that everybody knows about these fabulous new bottoms at Bombay Shirt Company. It's been a very difficult uh, time uh, getting things right from the scratch. Uh, how to? I mean, deciding how to how we'll do this actually. The challenges, if we need to talk about, were how the garments will be. Analyzing it on a technical front, what all other operations we will need to do in-house, arranging the manpower for that, and then the most important part was the method how it will be issuing to the production, how we'll how we'll get the things right from there, so that we can uh, we can arrange this entire inventory and we are trying to fulfill the customer uh, measurements requirement as well.